because you can work easier in Navisworks, we have some windows here that during the processing of the work is they are used a lot. One of the windows is called selection tree. That if you click on it, you will see a window here, and if you just click on the screen, it will be closed again. And then if again bring the mouse cursor here, you can see the window. If you click on the pin here, it will be automatically fixed. And then if again you click on it, it will be automatically hidden. So let me pin it to fix it. You can also put the mouse cursor here and then drag it to change the size of this window. So as you can see here, uh, this window has listed all of the items that you worked before with. For example, this file has been entered from Revit. And you have to be careful that the file which is entered from Revit, AutoCAD, or other softwares, the, they are different. So if you import it uh, from Revit, here they will be shown standard and uh, it will be shown by levels. So if you click on them, uh, they will be shown by levels. And every floor again has some other items. For example, here we have floors, structural columns, structural framing. Or again here in this tab, we have floors and structural framing. Like this. So now, if we have a file from AutoCAD still advanced, For example, here I will open a file, DWG Advanced Steel. If you cannot find the file, then you can type star here, uh, and then you can find it. Yes, I will enter it here, and then I will double click on this icon, and then we will wait until it is open here, because we want to just check the structure of that here. When you enter it from this software, it will be shown by layers. So, by Revit you can see the levels, but by the other cat it will be shown by layers. For example, let's we'll look at here, center, plates, and uh, uh, for example, relings, for example, stairs, or here you can see welts. So, uh, here is based on the layers, but the file you enter here is ba it's based on levels. You can see it here, uh, it's based on levels that they are being shown. This is the standard mode. If you just put it on compact, it will be completely intensive. It means you cannot see the groups there, but in a standard you can see the groups there. Or even in, DW, in DWG, you can just see every uh, layer differently. But when I go in Compact Icon, it will be completely one. If you choose Property, you can see the items by materials. Um, for example, Timeline. So all of them are in one timeline now. So in future, we will tell you about the timeline. So it will show you some items that have similar timelines or for example some similar materials. So if I open them here you can see them, they are the same, the features are the same. As you can see they are similar. Yes, you can see them. Uh, but here in Diffuse Red uh, it's different. Or um, let me return to Revit file again. So, if I go on properties, uh, here for example you have Revit type, here for example top level, those items that have uh, the same materials or features. For example an icon of a structure, uh, it's showing the things that are not here. So let's check we have something for it or not. So I open this window as, and as you can see this number are not here. So let's check to see if we can find them here. Uh, we click on hide unselected and, and they are here, you can see. Like this. 
So these are really interesting ways. So let me again return to this file. Uh, for example, the icon of timeline here, as you can see, is empty. So just a moment, let me bring timeline here. And then I'll add some items here, for example. Let me put it on compact icon. And then I'll choose this item. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So again, I will open the timeline here. And let me close this for just some seconds. You know, we don't have any work with timeline, just I'm gonna show them to you. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I will choose this one and drag it here. And then I will drag this one on this team and this item. And let me drag this icon on the third item. And the fourth one. Then the sixth one and seventh and then eighth. Now let's go on properties and then we go for timeline. You see like this the list is activated now here. So if I choose any of them because they are activated here uh, they are existing. So let me add one more here. As you can see, cancel. This is OK, 0 and 1. Yes, uh, like this. And then the next one, actually, all of them are clear here. Yes. So it means if you're looking for some materials based on the features, you can just look for it in Timeline icon. And this is based on levels. It's, it means that it's on the flat of that, or also the surface of that, or even based on the ID, like this. Or uh, just, for example, based on height. Yes, and all of them are like this. They can actually help you.